Hey guys, we're here at Whole Foods. I wanted to tell you a story yesterday at um, when we were coming out of Best Buy. There's a woman staring at me, and I assumed it was because I had the camera. Um, then she approached me and asked me where I got my UV sleeve. She said she was in the market for some. So you guys always comment about how people about how people give you strange looks because you're putting on sunscreen or wearing wearing a hat or whatever. They may not be giving you strange looks. They may be giving you looks of inquiry or interest. So model the behavior and people will adapt it. But how are you? Hi everybody, happy Sunday. You used that Neutrogena cleansing lotion last night. Here you're in the dark. What did you think of it? I used it. I used it last night and also also this morning. It's really nice. Yeah. It does the job. Did it take your makeup off okay? You know, I used I did two applications. Yeah. So yeah, I guess it eventually. Yeah. Yeah, I found that with the Neutrogena cleansing lotion, that if you do if you do a single step, meaning if you don't remove your makeup, in my case mascara and sunscreen with the, the oil cleanser first, that it requires two washes for the Neutrogena cleansing lotion to get the mascara off. Whereas the Neutrogena hydrating creamy cleanser or the CeraVe hydrating creamy cleanser, you could do you could do as a single step with minimal abrasion. But that cleansing lotion is a little bit too gentle. Gentle. Yeah, I can confirm. Not too gentle, but it's not going to take off the mat. It's it's akin to Cetaphil, the creamy Cetaphil, but a little nicer. Yeah. So, you know, maybe if you did a larger blob, yeah, it would work a little better. But maybe. Yeah. Yeah, there was a little boy in front of me in line, and he gets up to the line and goes, "I'll have a medium decaf." skim latte and I was like okay <laughs> he ordered that and then that then, then the parents the dad came by and he goes what did you order and he goes, I got mom a decaf skim latte oh, he paid so for it with his own money I thought was so cute oh, yeah. what'd you get today um I don't know if these are marinated onions oh, but yeah. they look delicious um the black rice fruit uh -huh. roasted cauliflower um also some Roasted sour, they're like snap peas with mint. Oh yeah. And then on the bottom is the tofu scramble mm -hmm. and good old hash browns. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's that, your multivitamin? Oh. <laughs> this is what I get for being good all week. The vegan chocolate chip cookie? You like it, it is huh? It's a vegan one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like those. <laughs> um, especially the, chip, the chocolate chips, they're really good. Really good. It must be fair. Must be. Well, it could be regular, just dark chocolate. They're good. Yeah, they had new on new on the bar this morning. They had obviously not vegan um, blueberry cheesecake stuffed French yeah, toast. Some special treats. Chicken and waffles and um, southern biscuits and gravy. Right? Is the other one? But, yeah. That's what it was, eggs, eggs Benedict. I never liked eggs Benedict. I like, I like the eggs part of it, but I didn't ever care you for that. Like I hate hollandaise. hollandaise. Oh, yeah. I like the asparagus. <laughs> so I got um, shredded carrots with a little bit. You can't see it, but underneath are some zoodles and some of that kale black rice salad. Some quinoa with edamame ginger beets, sunflower seeds, and um, then I have black sesame seeds and some coconut sprinkled on top. And my coffee. <laughs> we still need to get our reusable cups so that we don't keep yeah, contributing to the, that, I, to the quote recycling. <laughs> yeah. No, we can re I'll remember to bring it, yeah. yeah we need to find one. Yeah. Yeah, and last night we watched Downton Abbey, and uh, Thomas saved the day yet again. Even though he's a bad seed, he has a he has a silver lining to him. He's my secretly my favorite. <laughs> he wants so badly to be the hero. Yeah, but he loves gossip. He can't help it. He loves gossip. Yeah, he, <laughs> he loves deeply to loves sleep it. Well. Yeah, it's his uh, it's his Achilles heel. 
I do wish he'd quit smoking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, they don't know yet that, that, know. that that'll kill you. <laughs> but the, the actors, do they actually have to smoke when they... They have some sort of faux right? cigarette. They have oh, a faux... Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, that's Absolutely, good. yeah. Uh-oh, we just had a uh, Isaac Mizrahi blanket amputation that accidentally happened. <laughs> one of the pom-poms on this blanket came off. Yeah, so I, I lost another one not too long ago. Did this come from Target? It came from uh, QVC. Oh, it's comfy. Yeah. It's it just is, the right um, weight for... The little pom-poms are shedding. Got my, my slippers and Totoro socks. Gonna do a little reading. And I made a little bit of progress on my cross stitch. What are you doing? Instagramming? I'm checking some, some social media, but I've been reading, and this is really getting good. Tana French, yeah. Tana French, the likeness? Either I'm going to enjoy it all the way through, or it's going to lose me in the middle, but we'll see. Is it scary? Uh, no, it's just, it's, it's unsettling. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Yeah, it's about a doppelganger. Ooh, creepy. Speaking of doppel and boppel, my mom got me some of these Invisi bobbles. Have you guys seen these? They're like telephone cord hair doodads. Um, they're pretty nice. They don't um, they don't uh, pull your hair when you you pull them out. And I managed to have this in the gym, with my hair in a ponytail, running. And it made it to it made it to the 40 minute mark of my run, and it needed a re swatch, <laughs> a re a retailing, yeah. Um, but when I pulled it out mid run, it didn't snag in my hair, so that's that's a good test. These are the ones I normally wear, these little ribbon ones, but um, these are pretty handy. Have you tried these to? When you wash your face at night? I dial, those are new. Uh -huh. But I did try it when you um, went to the gym or wherever. I mm -hmm. tried one. Yeah. And it does hold the hair up. Did you learn about this from Elle? Elle. Mm -hmm. Elle is an influence. She is your she influencer. She inspires me, yeah. Is that one of her book recommendations? The yes. Likeness? Yeah, she recommended this. My mom's an Elle fangirl. The other one, um... Ooh, the sunlight just came in. You look like, you look angelic. Oh gosh, let's <laughs> keep that up. <laughs> I'm having your last peach pear La Croix here. Is that how you say it? La Croix? Somebody say correct me. I think it's just La Croix. La Croix. Oh, La Croix, Dad. It's La Croix, maybe. Oh yeah, that's maybe how they corrected me. But La I Croix. don't know. They just want it to sound, you know. Artisanal. Bougie. It tastes good though. I, it tastes almost like it has a little bit of nectar, you know. Um, we can go run and get some more if you want more. Um, I took my cup from Whole Foods mm -hmm. this morning, but this is another. Uh, I'm having one of the Starbucks Via Colombias oh. in here with some almond milk. It is afternoon, 12:20 on a two uh, Sunday. I'm drinking caffeine. The retired life has got you rogue. Well, I started to. <laughs> Do the head walk oh, a minute yeah. ago. So I thought I needed that a little is deadly. boost. And then I have a project I'm going to do in oh. a little while. How do you like your new phone case? Well, as I said, it looks like some miracles things. <laughs> but it's it's um you know it's been holding the phone nicely. Yeah, it's nice. 
I don't know if I would want to get another Otter Box. I had one of those before. That thing was so cumbersome. They are cumbersome. I had a, my case, like what you you have on there currently, yeah. that's all you need as far as the protection, I would imagine. I mean, I've dropped my phone so many times and it's never, knock on, knock on wood, it's never cracked or anything. You know, I just have a little cheapy, cheapy Amazonian score wrapped around it. Yeah, yours is nice. Yours is like a rose gold. No, my phone is rose gold, but the case is just clear. Oh. Colorless. Yeah, I got the rose gold also. That's why I colorless and clear. opted for that. Mm. Tie B. Tie B. Tie B. Tie B. Tie B. We're out on a little walk. Um, first impression for me as far as the Davita mineral sunscreen, it is micro micro sized, not nano sized, but micro sized zinc. They disclose that, which is handy. Um, it leaves a, a little bit of a white cast and it clumps. I'm coming to the conclusion that mineral sunscreens that are micro sized must be the clumpy kind. Nano blends in the best, but people don't want to use it because potential harm to the reefs. Micro, we don't know. Seems to clump. This one included. Subtle cast, but can be blended. Non-nano, non-micro, too big, white sheen. What do you think of the Davita sunscreen? Have you been using it on your face or just on your, on your body? Tinted. No. This is one I just put on. We did it this morning. You used it this morning. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I put it on, mm -hmm. it kind of rolled. It, made it rolls, yeah, rolls. Pills. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I believe that. My theory is that the micro-sized ones must do that, whereas the nanoparticle ones are small enough that it, it blends more readily, and the, the straight zinc, non-nano, non-micro, is going to give you that thick white film. Just a theory. I'm not a, uh, you know, sunscreen manufacturers, they don't disclose that. You guys always want to know what percentage zinc to look for? Don't, because it's going to vary with the vehicle of the, the sunscreen, oh. how, how the, it, like if it's a, th a thick cream or light lotion, the percent strength, the percent of the zinc is going to differ. It doesn't alter the efficacy of the sunscreen. Also, the size of the zinc that they're using will, will influence the percent. The percent concentration of the zinc and low titanium dioxide. Isn't that right, Tabby? Tabby, Tabby! He's having a good old time. This pavement seems to be okay, but when we were walking yeah. through the parking lot, we had to carry him because it yeah, gets too to hot. Oh, uh, we, we don't we don't want to invade his privacy. Oh, no, witch witch fail! We came over here for witch witch. I don't have any black bean patties. Well, make a witch witch fail with the no black bean burger. They do have other vegan veggie options, like you can get avocado, um, but we were like, mm, we really wanted the black bean burger. I really wanted the black bean burger, so we decided to come back and make our lunch here. Yeah. We've got plenty of food. Yeah. Well, I love Witch Witch so much. I do, and I'm, I'm really afraid that they're going to close their doors. Me too. Based on what's going on in the other ones we see. Yeah. Because I was reading on Quora, you know, super, super reliable, legitimate information, <laughs> that when a restaurant says out of or, um, that they're out of something, uh -huh. it means either it takes too long to make it or they're doing away with it on the menu. If they do away with the black bean burger, that is not a good, good sign. Um, they have a superfood wrap too that I've always wanted That's to try. One, yeah. It's black bean, the black bean patty with quinoa and avocado. It's like all the vegan stuff wrapped up in the one. They didn't have that on that menu though. They did, they did. They did but they're out of the black bean burger, so exactly. you wouldn't be so able to do that. It wouldn't be very super. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, I just made myself a big salad. My mom is doing the same, but here's what's on mine. I just have um, some romaine and some kale, some steamed carrots, mushrooms, uh, snap peas, a little bit of the Costco guacamole and the Costco hummus, two potatoes, and some of these little um, Bombay spiced chickpeas, as 
topping, and I will, of course, douse it in nutritional yeast. And what do you have and here? Mine is uh, what's left of the Mediterranean crunch mix, uh -huh. and then mushrooms, carrots, potatoes, uh, both the little yellow gold ones. Uh -huh. These are so tasty. They are good. And chickpeas, mushrooms. Yum. Yeah, and I put lemon juice all over it. Ooh, fancy. Yes, I like fancy. lemon Fancy, move juice. over les cordon bleu. <laughs> Stay classy. I'm wearing my UPF 50 Eclipse shirt. Had my sleeves on earlier. They're nice and cool. It got pretty hot out on the walk. Were the you walk? hot? We got really hot on our walk. I don't know what the temperature was, but it was uncomfortable. Yeah, it was quite hot. Well, hey guys, what's up? I am out of the shower back home after the gym. I'm wearing my new Old Navy PJs. I need to fix the strap on this side, but they're kind of cute. So I've got polka dots for the summer. It's already getting really hot here. So this is a much needed, much needed nighttime change. Coming back to what I was saying on the walk earlier about the percent of zinc and or titanium dioxide in your sunscreens, you guys asked me what percent should we be looking for. Um, you know, it's really, it's going to vary so much depending on how the sunscreens are formulated, what other um, ingredients there are in the sunscreen, the inactive ingredients. But the SPF determination, at least the determination of what protects you against a burn, is is uniform. And so it's not as though, you know, an SPF of 30 is not reliable if the zinc is a certain percentage. It's going to vary a lot depending on how the product is formulated, how and the size of the and the size of the zinc or titanium. You know, are they nano sized, are they are they non-nano, are they micro? Really varies quite a bit. So just, I mean, and looking at the sunscreens that I've reviewed for you guys recently, the Derma E sunscreen, I enjoy this one. You know, this one touts itself to be coral reef friendly because it is free of nanoparticles. So the zinc in this is not nano sized. Could still be micro sized, not entirely sure. It does kind of have a little bit of that, that clumpy, clumpiness to it. I noticed that with this. Um, and uh, this contains 20% zinc oxide. The um, Umbra Sheer Physical Defense, which is not exactly sheer, um, and definitely has a clumpiness to it. This has, you know, likewise 20% zinc oxide in it. Um, both of these are in vehicles that have a lot of plant-derived oils in them, as opposed to, um, let's see here, the Aveeno Ultra Calming Daily Moisturizer. Here we have both zinc and titanium. The zinc in this is 3%. It is it is probably micro-sized, I would guess, or nano-sized. I'm not entirely sure. They don't tell you on the label. But yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna review for you guys, just kind of give my thoughts on the legislation in Hawaii, the state of Hawaii as far as uh, banning certain chemical filters, what I think about that, you know, what the evidence is to support that, and as far as harming the, the coral reefs, um, and maybe the overall impact that I think that's going to potentially have on sunscreen compliance. So stay tuned for that. I know you guys have been asking me a fair amount if I can talk about that. So I made a whole video just focused on that because I've been getting many questions. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm going to conclude the video here. I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. I obviously had a lot of fun with my mom. Uh, I did some crafts and some reading. That book is really good. Hopefully I can get some more reading in tonight because I'm really enjoying it. But hope you had a nice weekend. And if you liked the vlog, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.